Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, so. Are you all happy with your exam date? Hmm? The very first exam? Hmm? Happy, Rena? Yeah, so nice here. Rena? Happy? Not happy with the date. Yeah, I know. What about me, Igna? Start learning. Rena? Yeah, then how? Like, I'm just uh, completing my record. Okay. Complete the record today itself. Okay. And then start learning. Hmm? Sana, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Happy with the exam date? Mm. Huh? Happy? Good. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, Megna, what about your records? It's almost finished. Almost finished. Okay. Sana, is it over? Well, I have to do the labels. Okay. Make it fast. Okay. And then start learning. So, the last class we were discussed about the BMI. What is the full form of BMI? The body mass index. That's, uh, that is a simple indicator that basically used to check whether our height is appropriate with our weight. That is BMI, body mass index. Then, then we learned about the parameters of health. What are the parameters of health, Meghna? Strength. Mm -hmm. Flexibility. Yes. Endurance. Uh, coordination. Fine. What about the social parameters, Sana? Sana? Social parameters. Are you able to uh, see the screen? Yes. Is it clear? Yes. What is the first slide? Can you please read? Uh, Reina? Hey, then when... Fine, fine, fine. Okay. Okay. So this is our chapter 24. What about the body mass index, Raina? Less than 18.5? Underweight. Underweight, okay. What about 30 plus? Raina, sorry, Sana, 30 plus? Obese. Obese, very good. Then 18.5 to 24.9, Migna? Normal. And 25 to 29.9, that comes under the overweight. Okay. So if a question asks, calculate the BMI. Um, uh, so if a question asks, calculate the BMI of a person or an adult with uh, this much of height and this much of weight, uh, first write the equation. Hmm? One mark for equation and one mark for calculation and one mark for Identifying the category of BMI. Okay, is it clear? What is the equation for BMI, Reina? It's a very sure question. Yes. Try, Reina, just try. Equation for BMI. Height in meters and weight in kilogram. Height in? Uh, height in meters. Okay, that's right. By weight in kilograms. Is it right, Meghna? No. Sana, what is the equation? Weight Vena, listen. Kilogram divided by height in meters square. 
ओके वेट डिवाइडेड बाय हाइट ओके रे ना जस्ट द ऑपोजिट हम बीएमआई इज इक्वल टू द वेट इन किलोग्राम डिवाइडेड बाय हाइट इन मीटर स्क्वायर मीटर स्क्वायर ओके रे ना कैन यू प्लीज रिपीट द इक्वेशन फॉर बीएमआई वे वेट इन किलोग्राम बाय हाइट इन मीटर स्क्वायर very good okay then we learned about some parameters of health that is strength endurance flexibility coordination what do you mean by endurance it's a new term make now like uh, to withstand the fatigue yes the ability to resist the fatigue or fatigue that is the endurance okay by doing uh, repeatedly the same job the person never feels any kind of fatigue is that is the endurance okay then flexibility coordination and strength then then we learned about different kinds of exercises that help your body to improve your body functions or improves your flexibility and all what are the three types of exercises reena just name Aerobic. very aerobic. good aerobic. very good aerobic exercises and aerobic exercises and flexibility exercises or or the uh, strength building exercises both are right and aerobic or strength building exercises so now what about the aerobic exercise uh, like jogging and swimming you know it uh, okay uh, what is the function it controls the weight and reduce heart yeah heart disease. the basic function for aerobic exercise that is it help to maintain your heart and circulatory system that is the main function main function of aerobic exercise it help to control the functions of heart and lungs and the circulatory system is it clear okay then make now what about the second one strength building exercises The exercises like push-ups and all it burns more calories. Very good. And made in strong muscles. Very good. So the anaerobic exercise or the strength building exercise like the push-ups, weight lifting, all these comes under the anaerobic exercise. As the main function is, that is the main function. It helps to burn the more calories from our body and it maintain the proper weight. It also improves the uh, strong sorry it also maintain the strong bonds and improve our posture that also comes under the anaerobic exercises so aerobic for it's very important okay aerobic aerobic that help to control the heart and circulatory systems anaerobic for what is the anaerobic function reena try to learn within the class okay building exercises okay what is the function um, what is the function of an aerobic exercise think it help to burn the calories burn the calories very good then the last one that is flexibility exercises make now that's like uh, yoga very good one more plus to bal maintain the balance of okay it improves the balance and sometimes it reduces the injuries the muscle uh it helps to reduce the uh, the tightness of our muscles it's also comes under the flexibility exercise then so now can you give another example for flexibility exercise other like, than yoga uh, stretching very good stretching exercises okay and then uh, one more is there that is breathing exercises like our sniffs and all hmm that comes under the breathing exercise then okay So let's move on to the next topic. That is wellness. What do you mean by wellness? Orange here. Wellness. Wellness. Wellness means without being sick. Yeah, almost right. the uh, complete state of uh, well being that is wellness we are uh, we were or we are e uh, what can i say hmm. it is a state of optimal well being that's it wellness state of good health arena good health 
yeah good health good physical health good emotional health good mental health all comes under this wellness for a good well being or a well being individual to become a well being individual the individual individuals a uh, physical health mental health emotional social all all the health should be in a proper manner okay that is wellness is a state of optimal well being that is the definition of wellness state of optimal well being and this wellness that always help to improve the uh, quality of life by reducing the risk of diseases that is wellness it help to reduce our diseases it improves our immune system all comes under this wellness both wellness and fitness is different okay fitness means a uh, body fitness wellness means the complete well being of a individual okay the complete wellness then just like as the dimensions or the parameters of health here also some dimensions are there for wellness that is social social wellness i told you that wellness is achieved through the integration of this physical emotional social and all so the first one that is social wellness which means the ability social wellness which means the ability to uh, control or maintain the relationship with other social sociable person okay social well being is the ability to maintain a positive relationship with a person or an individual that is social wellness is it important or not social wellness reena hmm yes why uh to maintain just the definition to maintain the good relationship or a positive relationship with others okay then what about emotional wellness we already covered this topics emotional what do you mean by emotional development team controlling okay. all the emotions right the ability to control all the emotion not only to control but also to understand others emotions it's also important okay controlling and understanding others emotions that is the emotional wellness social wellness means ability to understand the or maintain a positive relation emotional wellness the ability to control and understand the others feelings this emotional wellness is very important to find out a person in a difficulty and to solve their problem okay this emotional wellness if a person with emotional wellness they can easily solve the others problems they can easily help them why because they can easily understand others emotions others feelings okay that is emotional wellness then physical wellness you see physical how can we achieve this physical wellness physical wellness hmm think about the nutrition physical wellness we need the proper nutrition or the adequate amount of food reena to be strong to be strong okay so we need this kind of nutritious food to become a physically fit or a physical wellness the nutritious food and the exercises all these comes under the physical wellness we need proper nutrition proper amount of exercises fitness for a physical well being okay is taking care of your own body for optimal health and functioning that's taking care of our own body for the optimal health and functioning functioning of our body physical wellness then spiritual what is this word mean not the definition spiritual sana what do you mean by spiritual hmm i don't need the definition spiritual praying now this comes under the uh, spiritual part spiritual part of uh, an individual do you have the habit of praying daily 
Nigna? Hmm? Reina, Sana? Yes. Okay. So, uh, why we need this spiritual wellness? For what? This is this, uh, do you think is this wellness important? Yes or no? I'm not going to ask why. Just say yes or no. Is it important or not? Spiritual wellness. Yes. Yes. Reina, for you? Yes. Why? Because it always helps to find out the, uh, find out the meaning of our life, right? Hmm? To find out the meaning, uh, that is the importance of our life, what is our goal, that all comes under the spiritual wellness. Okay. You can write, spiritual wellness helps to find out meaning and purpose in one's life. Spiritual wellness helps to find out meaning and purpose in one's life. At least just write, help to find out the meaning of life. So, the first one, social wellness, means the ability to maintain a positive relationship. Creating friendship or creating a relationship is very easy, right? You can easily create relationship, but maintain a relationship is very difficult, right? When compared with boys, their case is little easy. They can easily maintain their relationship for their lifelong. But try to maintain every relationship till your end of your life. Okay. Maintain the relationship. And then emotional wellness that help to control the emotions and also understand the other's emotion. Then physical wellness with the help of this fitness, exercises and proper amount of nutrition, uh, one can easily get this physical wellness. It helps the optimal uh, well-being and optimal health. Then spiritual wellness to find out the meaning of our life. The spiritual wellness sometimes help the individual to uh, cope with some kind of stress. We can easily come out from that situation when we think about when we think spiritually. Then occupational wellness, the fifth one. Occupational wellness. What is occupation? Job, right? So, what is occupational wellness? We need a satisfaction, right? After completing every job, after completing your practical work, after completing your record, you will have a satisfaction, right? Hmm? God knows. That is occupational wellness. Then, then environmental wellness, intellectual wellness and financial wellness. That also comes under the dimensions of wellness. Social, emotional, physical, spiritual, at least try to buy hard the names, dimensions of wellness. Occupational wellness, environmental wellness, intellectual wellness and financial wellness. This financial wellness is very important for a stress-free life, hmm? right? Take the page number 285 and just read the dimensions of wellness. Joseph Anton Greedy. Read, read. We don't have time. We need to complete all our portions by today. You need revision, right? 
So social wellness, social wellness is the ability to relate to and connect with other people in the world. Our ability to establish and maintain positive relationship with family, friends and co-workers contributes to our social wellness. And then it also includes showing respect for others and yourself. It's very important to respect others. Not only the others, respect for ourselves is also very important for the social wellness. Then contributing to your community and to the world brings a sense of belongingness. Any doubts? Okay, then emotional wellness. It is the ability to understand one's own feelings. Being emotionally well is typically defined as possessing the ability to feel and express human emotions such as happiness, sadness, and anger. So it helps to control our emotions, this emotional well-being. Then it includes optimism, self-esteem, self-acceptance, and the ability to share feelings. It's also very important to share our negative thoughts, share our negative feelings or any kind of stress with others to cope with this emotional problems. Okay, then negative thoughts and feelings are the indicators of poor emotional well-being. So, which are the indicators of poor emotional well-being? Just underline that negative thoughts and feelings. Say now, just underline. Negative thoughts and feelings are the indicators of poor emotional wellness. Then the third one, that is physical wellness. It, it pertains to general health of a person. Physical wellness means general health, the overall health of a person. It includes a variety of healthy behaviors like adequate exercise, proper nutrition, getting regular health checkups and all. Okay. And then it's also important to avoid the uh, harmful habits like the uh, drinking alcohol, uh, drugs usage. That also comes under this physical wellness, avoiding these kind of negative behaviors. Okay. Reina, read the fourth one, spiritual wellness. Am I fast, Meghna? No, ma'am. Okay, Reina, read. It it can be pertain pertain. It can pertain to uh, finding meaning and purpose in one's life. This this can involve possessing uh, and a set of guiding beliefs or values that help give, um, that help give direction to one's life or simply seeing the good and in all the th all things. A spiritually well person seeks harmony between that what lies within within as well as the for the forces outside. So the spiritual wellness helps an individual uh, to guide his or her beliefs and values. Underline that. Spiritual wellness can guide a person's beliefs or values. And it also helps to find out the meaning and purpose of everyone's life. Spiritual wellness is important. Sometimes the spiritual wellness also helps to uh, reduce your stress and the uh, physical problems, some emotional problems also. Then, occupational wellness. Sana read. Page number 286. Um, okay, book. occupational wellness. The development of occupational satisfaction and wellness is related to your attitude towards your work. By achieving occupational wellness, you maintain positive attitude and experience satisfaction and pleasure in your employment. To get this, you should choose a career that suits your personality, interest, and talents. Be open to changes and learn new skills and create a vision for your future. Okay, that is occupational wellness. This is related to everyone's attitude towards our work. Occupational satisfaction. Then emotional wellness, intellectual wellness and financial wellness. Okay. Read, Meghna, read. Read the uh, three one, three, last three. Environmental wellness. 
Environmental wellness is an awareness of the unstable state of the earth and the effects of your daily habits on the physical environment. Right, right. Next one, intellectual wellness. Intellectual wellness. Intellectual wellness and creates creativity by stimulating mental activities. Fine. So what is intellectual wellness? This wellness helps to create a creativity. And then it also stimulates our mental activities, our learning, our um, problem-solving behavior. Everything comes under this intellectual wellness. Then financial wellness that helps to avoid the stresses, and it helps to lead a stress-free life. That is financial wellness. Okay. Any doubts, Sena? Hmm? No? Right. Rena, can you please list the uh, dimensions of wellness? Just the names. Don't look the text. Yes, Rena. Emotional. Good. Uh, intellectual. Good. Um, diseases and all comes under? Physical. Very good. Then? Uh, physical. Uh, anger, jealousy, all this? Emotional. Prayers. Spiritual. Good. Financial. Financial, then? Occupational. Very good. Nature and all comes under. Understanding the nature. Very good. And environmental wellness. Uh, Meghna, list the dimensions of wellness. Just the names. Spiritual, emotional, physical, social, environmental, uh, occupational. Yes. Take time and then think. Anything else? Social? Social, Social. emotional, physical, environment, intellectual, okay. occupational, spiritual. Then spiritual, fine. Financial. Right. Very good. So, Sana, a question for you. What are the reasons for uh, stress in your life? Reasons for stress in your life. Do you have stress? Oh, yes, ma'am. Reasons? Mm, when the exam time comes, uh, then uh, when thinking about the future. Mm. It. Good. It's a good one. Reina, what about you? Reasons for your stress in life. Hmm? Do you think about your future? Yeah, but uh, it makes me stress, but why? Because I'm a bit scared and uh, if I get or uh, something. I'm a bit scared and something, that's why. Nothing to scared. You are an excellent teacher. Mm. Mm. No problem, right? She's an excellent teacher, right? Raina. Uh, exams, then as I am and all. Okay. Meghna, anything to add? Exams are same as then future. Anything to add? Yeah. Future. I have set a goal like you not know, to be fashion design from a young age, but when I get to know the things, I am a bit scared of that. If I get or not, so I, that's no problem. You will definitely get. You all are very talented students. No problem. Everyone will definitely reach a height. I'm sure. Raina, Sana, Mikna, everyone. So, we already know there are two, ty two types of stress, right? Positive and negative. Hmm? You already learned that. Can you give an example for a positive stress? Reina, positive stress. Hmm? Do you have any positive stress? 
stress during exam is sometimes a positive stress, right? So you can score well. Is it? Is it right, Raina? Right? Or is it a negative? When we get huh? we like, will forget things one by one, Sana. Like we will forget many things if we get tense. Over stress. That's over stress. Hmm. Then Raina. For me, stress gives me forgetness all the time when exam comes. So don't stress. Just leave that. Exams? This is my advice. Okay. So, there are two types of stress. It's important. You stress and distress. Right now, yeah, you're smiling. Don't smile in class, okay? You stress and distress. Two type of stress. When distress has a positive effect, it is called as eustress. And when the stress has a negative effect, it is distress. When stress has a positive effect, it is termed as eustress. And when stress adversely affect your mental health or when the stress affect your uh, physical well-being or any kind of emotional problems, that is distress, two type of stress. And stress is also different for different ones. The stress, Omegna stress is entirely different from Raina's. Everyone's stress is different. Okay. So which are the two types of stress, Raina? Don't get stressed. Two types of stress. stress, and stress. Huh? Louder, please. Just stress. Fine. And distress. Good. What is distress, Sana? This the negative one. Negative one. Hmm? What is the definition? Distress. When the stress adversely or negatively affect your your health or your wellness, that is distress. That is you stress. Like now. Positive effect. Positive stress. When the stress leads to a positive, uh, positive result or a positive performance, that is you stress. Okay. Then. Okay. What are the different methods or different techniques to cope with the stress? Hmm? There are different techniques. Yoga. Sometimes I uh, hear music. I do some breathing exercise to avoid my stress. Meditation. Smiling, meditation. Then, Sana, add to this. Playing. Playing. Praying. Praying. Good. Spiritual. Good. Praying. Hmm. Yeah. Something. Then, Magna. Drawing. Drawing. Cleaning. 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 Yeah. Cleaning the rooms and arranging or organizing the tables. Okay. Then talk, talking with your friends, talking with family, share your feelings. There are lots of techniques to cope with your stress. Okay. So that's all about the chapter 24, health and wellness. BMI, the parameters of health, wellness, types of exercise, different techniques and two types of stress. Any doubts? Megna, can you write the points according to our, like for the cope with stress? Yes. yes, yes. It's a general topic, so you can write your own points. No problem. Sana, any doubts? Raina? Mm -hmm. No? Raina? Sure? Mm -hmm. Right. So bye. Take care. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.